Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Hi, this is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano, and thank you for listening to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Hey, hey, it's John here, and you're back in the Super Awesome Geek Show's toy room. And today we've got Robocop and the Ultra Police with the Robocopter. This helicopter is freaking awesome. Robocopter with whirling blades and Robo Armor Shield, firing spring loaded plasma missile and a working winch to make his copter invincible. This is so cool. The box art is just awesome. It's got photos of all the different features that this thing has. And uh, just looks so freaking cool. I just love this. Robocop. Robocop. Part man, part robot. All cop. Drop it. Robocop and the Ultra Police. Each sold separately. The only cops with rapid repeat cap firing. Robocop and the Ultra Police are the ultimate in law enforcement, the best, most technically advanced police squad ever assembled to battle the world's worst criminals. The Vandals, led by the King of Crime headhunter and his evil henchman Nitro, are Robocop and the Ultra Police's first job. I've got the uh, sticker sheet here and the instructions. So this thing is totally complete. Pretty cool. We'll open these instructions up so you can see how this thing was put together. And then uh, some of the features that it has. We really do care. Kenner. I love Kenner toys. This this vehicle is just freaking awesome. I really, really like it. I'm, I love the blue chrome look. The forward sweeping wings. The ultra police stickers and everything all on it. Both of the cockpits, the one in the front and the one in the back, have lots of detail and stickers inside to show off the controls. It's just really cool. Propellers really work. Both the one on the tail wing and the top. It's awesome. Let's take a look at this thing from every angle. We'll let it spin around. Ultra Police. There's two machine guns on each forward sweeping wing, and we have two missiles on each side. Yellow missiles. Underneath it, there's a winch, and that red lever, you push forward and back, and it raises and lowers the winch. It's got a central missile underneath that's spring-loaded, so it fires when you hit a uh, little switch under there. And we've got blue and red they're simulating lights, like a police light on the front, sweeping wings. We've got some figures here that we pulled out, and we're going to have some fun with them in just a minute. Evil headhunter on a skullhog is cruising for trouble. Robocop in his armored Robocopter takes off after him. Fire Robo missile. We'll give you a lift to jail. Here we have the packaging. We're going to show a Series 1 package for the figures and a Series 2 package. Series 1 on the left and Series 2 on the right. Four figures and two villains were available in Series 1. Six uh, good guys and four bad guys available in Series 2. When Series 1 came out, there was just the car and two motorcycles. The helicopter came when Series 2 came out. Here we have Robocop himself from Kenner. We've got the... He's got his gun, and he has a removable helmet, and it looks a lot like Robocop. I think it's pretty cool. There is a cap loading system in the back. This one's been played with a lot, and you can uh, blast off some caps. These are five POA action figures. There's nothing, just like Star Wars and any others at the time. And we have, this guy looks a lot like, um, I think he looks like Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Yeah, nice nice character here. I like the detail and the way these guys look. And uh, I think this is Captain Reed. He's got cool chrome armor, says police on there. And he's got his cap firing system. And he's got a helmet that you can take off and pop back on. He looks great. The face sculpt is cool. I like it. 
And then we have one of the bad guys here. This is Nitro. One of the bad guys. He's got his tattoo there. And uh, uh, these guys are pretty cool because they have gear that plugs into the side. They can pop on there. And they all come with two weapons and this cap firing action. Pretty cool. I loaded some caps into Robocop here, so we just do this. And now when Robocop wants to fire, you just snap this thing and this is how it works. Pretty cool. You can see the smoke going off from these old school caps. It smells in here now. <laughs> We've got some missiles that fire off. Just unclip them and pew, they shoot out. It's pretty cool. Second missile is attached to the stand there. We've got a, uh, the grapple launch thing and this moves it forward and or up and down. So you just slide this thing along and it can grab guys. Let me get a guy on here. We'll put a guy on here. There we go. There's a little clip that goes around their wrist or you can put the whole thing around their waist and kind of lift them up using that lever. Fly away! <laughs> and then we got the center missile here. Push this lever and it fires. Robocop and the Ultra Police Robocopter Let's try to get Robocop in the cockpit to fly this thing. And I don't know how this is going to work. If it's going to work. I, I mean, this he feels like he's way too big. I don't get this. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, Commander Reed fits in just fine. Robocop doesn't fit. <laughs> you can't close the canopy with Robocop in there so Reed's gonna drive it and then uh, let's try to get Robocop in the back um, hmm. um, <laughs> not having any luck I uh, well he can't close the canopy and he's gonna get his head chopped off Robocop doesn't fit in his own helicopter I'm sorry so we've got Sergeant Slaughter in the back. He's going to ride in there. Now we've got two figures in there. So it appears that all the figures can fit in the in this thing except for Robocop himself. I don't know why. <laughs> they show him in there in the package. There's something I'm missing. I don't know. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, boo. <laughs> he just, he, he got him. These uh, fit on stands. They work with G.I. Joe stands. There's a nice peg hole down there, so, you know, use G.I. Joe stands. You put Robocopter together. Robocop vehicles and figures with Robocaps, each sold separately. All right, guys, there we go. Robocop Ultra Police Robocopter. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think of the Robocopter and this Robocop line. I will do more. I've got the car coming and uh, maybe a couple more figures. Since there's not a lot to collect, I may end up getting this whole line eventually. Uh, so just keep an eye out for more videos on Robocop. Let me know uh, what you think. Stay awesome out there, everybody. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.